Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get more than 15 numbers to display in a cell in Microsoft Excel. Uh, for this example, we're just going to do a, a fictitious credit card number. So when you type a number that contains more than 15 digits in a cell, Microsoft Excel changes any digits past the 15th place to zeros. So if we type in, we're just going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, um, four times. So what you see in the cell is this crazy looking thing here. Um, and then when you actually look at the number, you can see that what it does is it changes that last digit to zero. So the first 15 digits will be correct. The last one is incorrect. Okay. And this is because it follows the IEEE 754 uh, specification on how to store and calculate these numbers. So it only stores 15 significant digits in the number and then changes digits after the 15th place to zeros. So there's a workaround for this. Um, and unfortunately, if you already have this information, you're going to have to call that customer and get that last digit because this isn't retroactive, unfortunately. But what you can do is we'll clear this out and we can resolve this by formatting the cell. So select the cell that you want the credit card number in, right click it and select format cells. So it's very simple. Just click on text. So then what this is going to do is just store it exactly as the person enters it. So we can go ahead and type one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that now maintains that information. Um, now you're going to get this little error notification that this is a number stored as text, but that's fine. We want to just ignore that because that's how we want it. We're not going to be doing mathematical equations with this number or anything. We just want it there uh, to see it. Uh, now I'll show you a quick tip for the expiration date. So if you want the expiration date formatted a specific way, there's another way to do that with uh, formatting the cells. So uh, we'll just right click in here again, select format cells. Now I like to go down to custom, but you can also actually go up to date if you want and just select, um, just select however you would like it to appear here. There's an easy way to do it under custom. So all you have to do is just highlight over whatever is in this box up here. And what you can do is type, so if we want two digits for month, we can do MM and then do a space. And then if we want two digits for the year, we can do just two Y's. So then what this is going to do, I'm going to click on OK now. So if somebody says that this card expires in March of 2019, this is going to update it to 319. This may or may not be useful to you, but thought I'd show you while I'm here. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more helpful tutorials. Check out my website at simplesoftwaretutorials.com and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.